Hey everyone, you know located in the western North Pacific Ocean, the Mariana Trench is the lowest place on Earth. Beginning at the point where two tectonic plates collide, it stretches over 1,500 miles and is about 7 miles deep. And as amazing as this place is, it's also home to some of the most terrifying creatures on Earth. So join me as we take a look at 15 of the most scary creatures found in the Mariana Trench. Let's begin. Number 15. Vampire Squid Despite its name and appearance, the vampire squid is neither a squid nor an octopus, and the last thing it wants to do is suck your blood. But then again, it thrives in the darkness of eternal night. Although it is a cephalopod, scientists have categorized it as a completely separate animal. They have eight arms and two tentacles, but they don't drink blood. So then where does the name vampire come from? Well, in between each of their arms is skin, which makes it look like they're wearing a cape. The vampire squid dwells in the pitch black waters of the mesopelagic zone, but it uses its bioluminescent organs to attract and snatch up its prey in its tentacles. These light-producing organs are all over the vampire squid's body and can be brightened, dimmed, and left glowing for several minutes at a time. And because they exist in such darkness, their tentacles are covered in tiny hairs that allow them to sense when prey is close. They typically feed on the remains of zooplankton like jellyfish and other dead organic materials. Another incredible feature of this creature is the unique oxygen metabolism that allows it to not just survive, but thrive in parts of the ocean with the lowest concentrations of oxygen. Just don't bring it out into the sunlight. Number 14. Leo Pluridon since so much of the Mariana Trench remains unexplored and will likely remain that way, there's always room for speculation as far as what lives down there. The Leo Pluridon was a fierce sea beast that lived during the Jurassic period, but everything that scientists know about it suggests that it lived down there in the Mariana Trench. This thing grew to be well over 20 feet long, and it was the apex predator of its time. It was strong enough to swim long distances with its four paddle-like limbs, and because the Leopluridon relied on smell to hunt prey, the lack of light in the trench wasn't a factor for it. But it did have eyes situated at the top of its skull, pointing right up, meaning it was an ambush predator attacking from beneath, which is a classic adaptation of the Mariana Trench predators. The Leopluridon genus could hide under their bioluminescent prey, and as soon as those lights go on, the Leopluridon gets the green light to attack. Number 13. Zombie Worms When we're watching an old zombie movie on television, Night of the Living Dead, City of the Living Dead, and even Train to Busan, we're safe from harm sitting on the couch with a bowl of popcorn. These creatures aren't real. Or are they? Heading down to the deepest, darkest crevices of the Mariana Trench may have you thinking otherwise. The frilly, feathery, and finned appearance of the zombie worm can sometimes make them look like they're ripped right out of a children's fairy tale. But with a name like zombie worm and the occasional nickname of the bone worm, maybe a children's book isn't the place for it. The zombie worm feasts on the rock-hard bones of anything and everything that it comes across, including whale bones. But it's not like it's going to swallow this thing whole. Instead, the zombie worm secretes an acid to help get into the inner contents of the bones. From there, it uses bacteria to convert the bone proteins into fat and nutrients that becomes its food. The zombie worm has a little feathery branches that wiggles in the water to pull in oxygen and keep it alive. It is certainly a strange little guy, but fear not, because the zombie worms want nothing to do with the living, and the females only grow to about two inches long, while the males are microscopic. So it looks like one animal's trash is another creature's treasure, or food in this case. Number 12. Telescope Octopus H.P. Lovecraft loved to tell horrific tales of the great old ones, abyssal, malevolent beings dwelling in the deepest reaches of the Earth, older than time and far beyond human comprehension. The telescope octopus looks like it may be the offspring of the great old ones. Unlike many other octopi, these guys float and let their long tentacles dangle in the deep ocean currents at about 6,500 feet below the surface. It doesn't swim horizontally either, but suspends itself vertically so that deep-sea predators won't see its shape. Much like the Dumbo octopus, the telescope octopus has webbing between its tentacles, but it's also totally transparent, making it look like an undersea ghost floating around hoping to find its soul. But when you look at it closely, the flesh is as clear as saran wrap. You'll see the telescoping eyes of its namesake. Their eyeballs jut right out from their heads, giving them not only a one-of-a-kind look, but also allowing them the wider peripheral vision so they can see both prey and predators alike. 
Adding to the nightmare factor, the eyes of the telescope octopus rotate independently so they can get the best possible view of the deep dark waters of the trench. Number 11. Benthocodon The next creature on this list sounds like something you'd pick up from behind the pharmacy counter and looks like a brain-sucking alien life form. The benthocodon is a deep-sea jellyfish dwelling 2,500 feet below the surface in the Mariana Trench, known for its unique color and small body with a rounded top or bell that doesn't grow to be much larger than an inch. It's laced with around 1,500 red, wispy tentacles that they use to help swim through the pitch-black waters. But something this wild-looking isn't feeding on plankton alone. Nope, despite its size, it can even gobble up small crustaceans. And while most of the jellyfish we've grown accustomed to seeing are transparent, the benthocodon has an opaque red hue. Because they exist so far deep down there, they're tough to properly study. But many scientists believe that the benthocodon reddish hue is used to hide the bioluminescent glow of whatever the jellyfish just ate, hiding them from predators. It's pretty cool. Number 10. Ping Pong Tree Sponge the scientific name of the next entry on our list is Chondrocladia, but it's a lot more fun to call it the Ping Pong Tree Sponge. This is a pretty simple organism, living on the floor of the Mariana Trench, and it earns its namesake, obviously, from its appearance. But don't expect to be playing any table tennis when you see one of these things in the deep. They may have a fun name, but these deep-sea creatures are actually dotted with tiny hook-like extensions, so any prey that comes into contact with it, hoping to stop and smell the roses, is in for a pretty nasty time. From there, the sponge slowly devours its prey alive, and it's not uncommon to see a few unlucky fish snared in there at once. They can vary in size as well, with some being pretty tiny and others growing as large as 14 inches. Each vein holding these pseudo ping pong balls is all the same length from the center of the sponge, which is pretty amazing. But these balls don't just catch prey either. They also contain sperm, which they release periodically in the hopes that they will fertilize other sponges in the area. Number 9. Comb Jelly If you ever do get the chance to visit the Mariana Trench, you'll be lucky to see some comb jellies. But since the odds of anyone going down there are slim, I'll just tell you about them here. The comb jelly is, you guessed it, a jellyfish that uses its comb-like plates to move about in the ocean. But what makes them especially captivating is their bioluminescence. These light structures move all throughout their body and even change depending on the level of light that they're exposed to. And as they swim, all of these factors combine to give them a fun shimmer rainbow effect. It really is spectacular, so then the comb jelly must be as gentle as it is pretty, right? Well, but if we've learned anything here today, it's that nothing living in the Mariana Trench is gentle. The comb jellies make for some serious deep-sea predators, and will even attack their fellow jellies if they're hungry enough. These jellies even expand its stomach to hold prey nearly half their size. And while that may sound boring for a comb jelly that's only a few millimeters long, that's a serious catch for jellies that can grow up to five feet long. Number 8. Ghost Fish Living five miles below sea level, the ghost fish moves its spectral body about, resembling an enlarged tadpole with a blobby, oversized heart and transparent body. A type of snailfish, these deep-sea dwellers have little use for pigment or patterning, and their lack of body structure helps them withstand the trench's intense pressures. The ghost fish was discovered by UK biologists in 2014 and set the record for being the world's deepest ocean fish. Even for a place like the Mariana Trench, that is pretty impressive. These little guys are just six inches long and have a slimy, almost cartoonish appearance. To put it bluntly, the ghost fish is a gross fish. They use their long, wing-like fins not just to swim about in the incredibly high-pressure environment, but also to pick food out from the muddy sediments that lie beneath them. But because these deep-sea dwellers are relatively new in the eyes of science, not much is really known about this specific species, and so scientists make inferences from other members of the snailfish family to help fill in the gaps. But when you live five miles down, the odds of ever truly being able to study them out in the wild are incredibly slim, and the ghostly secrets of this fish will probably stay that way for a long, long time. Number 7. Dumbo Octopus all right, with a name like Dumbo Octopus, it's got to be cute, right? Well, not quite. This one is a bit of a stretch from one of your favorite cartoon elephants. The Dumbo Octopus measures in at just 12 inches long and has some cute wiggly eyes and a puckered mouth, which help add to its cartoonish mystique. And while it may look sweet and dainty, it's also the deepest dwelling octopus known to science, making its little home at about 13,000 feet down. 
so naturally the Dumbo octopus has to adapt to those deep conditions. Instead of looking like your typical run-of-the-mill octopus, it falls under the category of umbrella octopi. Instead of having eight gangly tentacles to help propel its body forward and grab onto shells, coconuts, and prey, the Dumbo octopus is rocking webbed tentacles. This means that it doesn't chomp down on other sea creatures using a sharp beak. Instead, it swallows its prey whole, one and done. So while it may look kinda cute, just imagine the thing going on for dinner. That's when things go from cute to creepy. It's like scientists tried to trick the rest of us out of being scared of this trench predator by giving it a harmless, cute, little familiar name. But once you know the truth about this thing, there's no going back. Number six, giant amoebas. Jellyfish, octopi, worms, and fish aren't the only living things in the Mariana Trench. There are plenty of creatures living down there that are too small for us to see. And that doesn't make them any less horrifying. There are over 200 species of microorganisms that we know about living in this extreme underwater environment, all of which have evolved to not only survive in the trenches, but add to the horrors lurking about. Over six miles below the surface are giant amoebas measuring about four inches long. These amoebas, known as xenophilophores to biologists, have the unique ability to absorb deadly heavy metals like lead, uranium, and even mercury, making them incredibly toxic. It's truly amazing that something like this has adapted for over millions of years to not just survive but thrive in such a horrific environment. But the fact that an amoeba, a single-cell organism, can grow to be this big is absolutely astounding. There are animals like the giant squid and giant isopod that have developed deep-sea gigantism due to its high pressure, extremely cold temperatures, and scarcity of food, so it is quite possible that these giant amoebas have developed that same trait. Number 5. Deep Sea Hatchet Fish What the hell is it with these deep-sea dwellers of the Mariana Trench and their horrifying names? When you look into the wide but dead-eyed gaze of the hatchet fish, you can almost hear it screaming, help me, in your mind. And while there are over 40 species of hatchet fish swimming in the world's oceans, all with skinny bodies and shiny scales, this one has the classic deep sea adaptations. This particular species will only grow to be about 6 inches in length, but they're surviving down there at depths of about 5,000 feet. Don't forget about their bioluminescent bodies and their ability to alter the brightness of their natural glow, depending on how much light is being filtered through above. This is known as counter-illumination, and it is a pretty clever camouflage technique. Their silhouettes become dim, so anyone hoping to snatch them from below is easily duped. But forget about this sad-looking fish's face, because just the name alone isn't enough to send shivers down your spine. The Deep Sea Hatchet Fish Everything in the Mariana Trench seems incredibly nefarious, and this little guy's no exception. So while it may not be an apex predator, it certainly does its best to keep up with the creep factor found in the deep, dark, ice-cold depths. Number 4. Black Dragonfish Fish can be cool, and dragons are awesome, but dragonfish? Maybe not so much. But that's what's living down there in the trenches waiting for you. And unlike the Dumbo octopus, the deep-sea dragonfish looks anything but harmless. That's because they got a nice set of oversized teeth and a face that would feel more at home in your nightmares. And even though it's technically a fish, it takes on the appearance of an eel since it doesn't have any scales and has some slimy, slippery skin. The dragonfish is only about 6 inches in length and lives between 700 to 6,000 feet under the surface where light and warmth cease to exist. And since it spends its life in the dark, the dragonfish has bioluminescent body parts which give it a creepy glow. It'll use this natural glow to communicate with other fish, camouflage, and use it to attract some unsuspecting prey right into its mouth. Whatever you do, don't step into the light. But some of these dragonfish have even evolved to give off a red glow, which isn't a typical color for bioluminescent ocean dwellers. The jury's still out on this red light adaptation, but it's pretty likely they use it to shed some light on their prey before they chow down on them. Number 3. Barrel Eye Fish the barrel eye fish certainly has got a unique look, but it looks more like nature got bored with it before finishing it. Because they live in what's known as the midnight zone, the barrel eye fish needs every advantage it can when it comes to catching glimpses of light. It could mean the difference between catching a meal and going hungry. The barrel eye fish has tubular eyes that point straight up, which lets them see the silhouettes of their prey. So anything swimming down there in the trench could easily have one of these guys staring right back up at them and be none the wiser. That's pretty creepy. But to make matters even worse, the barrel eye fish has a transparent head. You can see right through it. 
No one is 100% sure why they've got this clear-headed adaptation, but the general consensus is they use it to catch just a little more light, which would give them an edge over fellow predators. Humans hadn't discovered this strange-looking fish until 1939 when one was brought up from 2,500 feet below the surface. But when you're coming up from those depths, your body collapses from the change in pressure, making it look even more nightmarish. Nowadays, scientists and researchers have remotely operated vehicles that will let them catch a glimpse of the barrel eye fish without rupturing its organs. Number 2. Sea Devil Angler Fish Anything with the word devil in its name can't be good, and the Sea Devil Angler Fish is no exception. It's got a whole slew of strange looking and downright hideous attributes. At first glance, this thing looks like something conjured from another plane of existence, but alas, it is an Earth creature, just a really, really mean-looking one. It's got a weird and misshapen body, razor-like teeth, and those eyes that just don't blink. Luckily, the females don't grow to be more than 8 inches, and the males clock in at about an inch, but with such a vast difference in size, how do they, you know, like mate? Well, this is a weird one, folks, because the male sea devil will fuse to the female during reproduction. Everything down to the male's teeth, fins, eyes, and internal organs all but disappear as the two become one. Whatever's left of the male's body becomes the female's storage tank for sperm that will eventually fertilize her eggs. That must make for a weird first date, but as you probably guessed, the sea devil isn't gunning after its prey. Instead, it's going to use the angler of its namesake to draw in any unsuspecting fish who just can't take their eyes off those big, bright, shiny lights in a literal sea of darkness. But by the time you realize you've gotten too close, those jaws are shut and your story ends right there. Sorry. Number 1. Goblin Shark Why are the creatures from the Mariana Trench so ugly? Whether it's a cruel joke from Mother Nature or just how the cookie crumbles, the deeper you get, the uglier the fish get. But the Goblin Shark truly lives up to its name, sitting on the throne as the king of the ghouls. Goblin shark has a snout that sticks out more like a sword than it does a nose, and just below is a big nasty set of protruding jaws that look too big for the shark's face. But they're real all right, and sometimes evolution can be downright cruel to some creatures in the looks department. And to somehow make matters worse, the goblin shark's skin is pink instead of the usual gray. When this thing's coming right at you, it's pretty hard to miss. That's also thanks to its oddly large size, growing up to 18 feet long. But then again, since they live down there in the Mariana Trench at about 3,000 feet, the odds of a run-in are slim to none. And the older the goblin shark gets, the deeper they dive. Since they live so deep in the trench, not much is known about them outside of their ghastly appearance. And since no one knows how the goblin shark reproduces, you can't rule out the theory that every time a sleeping child has a nightmare, a new goblin shark is born. I'll see you next time. Watch our Animals playlist for more top 15 videos about animals. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best animal-related videos.